Viruses today are no joke. It seems that every day we get news about ransomware attacks and security vulnerability exploits, which is precisely why getting an antivirus is a really good idea. And today I will show you how to use Surfshark antivirus and keep your devices running safe. Before we show you how to download the antivirus, you must know the requirements. For Windows, you will need Windows 10 or newer. For Mac OS, version 10.15 Catalina or later is needed. To use antivirus on Android, you will need at least Android 5.0 Lollipop or later. Last but certainly not least, you will also need an active Surfshark account. You can purchase a subscription at surfshark.com forward slash antivirus and then click on this big red button saying get Surfshark antivirus. On this new page, select your preferred plan duration. Then scroll down and choose your payment option. Keep in mind that cryptocurrency payments can take up to 24 hours to be fully processed. After you make the payment, you will be automatically logged in to the Surfshark website. Here on the left side, select apps and extensions. And here are all the download links. I will first show you how to set up the antivirus on your Windows PC. But if you're using a Mac or an Android device, then please use the timestamps below to skip to the part that's relevant for you. Now back on the Surfshark website, we simply need to click on Windows here and the installation file will begin downloading. After the installation, log into your account and on the app, select antivirus. Once you're here, you will be able to do quick scans and full scans. Quick scans will analyze only the most vulnerable areas of your device, such as your system folders and places where most viruses tend to hide. Full scan, on the other hand, will scan every tiny bit of your system. However, it will take a bit more time to complete. I suggest doing quick scans regularly and full scans maybe once or twice a month. Antivirus offers you other features like the ability to schedule scans, exclude certain files from being scanned, and you can also drag and drop files that you recently downloaded so you can scan them quicker. Okay, now let's see how to use the antivirus on your Mac. On the download page, click on Mac OS and make sure to select the direct download option. After installing the app, open it and log into your account. Just like on Windows, you can do quick scans and full scans. But before you can do your first scan, you must enable two permissions to allow Surfshark to scan your files. So let's do that right now. Click on the Open System Preferences button and then click on this log on the bottom left. Now authenticate this action by entering your Mac password or using Touch ID. Next, click on Allow right over here. After doing that, let's go back to the app and click on Open System Preferences one more time. Now click the lock again and authenticate your action. Then on the right side, look for Surfshark. When you find it, check this box next to it. After doing all that, you can begin your first scan. Just like on Windows, you can schedule scans and also drag and drop files that you want to scan quickly. The last platform on our list is Android. To download the app here, you have two options. First is downloading it through the Google Play Store. And the second one is through the Surfshark website by downloading the APK. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, but I personally like to use the Google Play Store option since I got all my other apps from there. Once installed, log into the app and at the bottom, select One. Here you will find Surfshark Antivirus. Now just click on Scan and enable permissions for Surfshark to have file access. This is required by the antivirus to keep your device protected. So just open the settings and toggle this option over here. When you go back to the app, the antivirus will begin its first scan. Just like on other platforms, you can schedule scans and enable real-time protection. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about the Surfshark antivirus. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But that is all from me. Take care.